Rob's counter. So this is a, um, a, I think it's Eastern European made Max Payne ripoff. Sounds exciting. You can buy it for five dollars on Green Man Gaming, and it's universally terrible in every possible way. So of course you're gonna play it a bit. I mean, why not? Also, I don't think Neon works that way. So, is there a story? Or should we not talk over the cutscenes of this amazing game? We're, we're starting from the beginning now, it's just like... I guess you're a cop and you're fighting drug cartels. Okay. With you so far. And I think there was some story stuff on the loading screen, but well, you can read, you can pause that and read that if you want. I don't care. When did this come out? I think 2005. The, the uh, interface kind of looks like uh, fear. B because I, I I know it came out after Max Payne too, because some of the. Uh, Stylistic choices they make are taken directly from that game. Yeah. And I'm playing this on easy mode just for the sake of my own sanity. Because this game, the people who have played it will know that it is retardedly difficult. How do you always end up with these games? I don't get it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Covering the area. Oh, shit. Fucked up. You're a bunch of fucking fucking idiots. He's an ass. Much. Shoot him. So if you've played Max Payne 2, that's how they also introduced their characters. Although Max Payne 2 does not have health bars for the enemies. Max Payne 2 is also a good game. Yes, it is. Just to annoy some people, I like it more than the original. Also, I like Timothy Gibbs better as Max Payne than Sam Lake. But come on, constipated face. Stupid, it's stupid. Right off the bat, this game plays like shit. Everything is really floaty. And if you're playing on higher than easy difficulty, enemies do a lot of damage and they they like to pop out of nowhere like that. So most of the game is memorizing where everything is and then repeating firefights endlessly until you get everything perfect. So it's basically a trial and error? Yeah, so instead of doing that and also abusing right hand advantage for an entire video, I'm just gonna sit on easy and actually try to play it like a Max Payne game. Even though it's a really shitty playing Max Payne game. Well, Max Payne could be fairly unforgiving. But it, it doesn't feel like you don't have control, you know? Yeah, one of the things I do like about Max Payne and Max Payne 2, also 3, is how smooth everything is in terms of, you know, gameplay. Like every th every time you fire your gun, there's like some weird screen jerking. Also, when you get hit, it just flashes red, so you can't see what the hell is going on. I suppose the uh, screen going up and down is, you know, recoil. Yeah, it's also real annoying. Oh, it's a nightclub. Okay. Yeah, you're forced to. Um, to aim down sights, sort of, to get any sort of accuracy. But that kind of goes counter to the whole, like, shoot dodging and staying constantly on the move. Hmm. Fucking idiot! A couple of cops kicked your ass! ass. Shut up, you idiot! I'm speaking now! Let's roll! Ah, ah. What a jerk. I do remember this game being in a. Uh, getting it reviewed in a Swedish copy of PC Gamer. I don't 
remember what the score was, but I'm fairly sure it's it was probably very pretty low. Pretty low. Oh man, I remember the first time I tried recording this on normal, I kept dying, and every time I had to reload my save, the sound would go out of sync. In the game? In the game. In the game, after, after, if I recorded it. In the game, it would be fine, but the resulting video, the sound would be all out of sync. Huh. Alpha team, we have no layout plan for club beneath street level. That's great. You have to complete your mission, no matter what. Capture Alberta. He'll be somewhere close by. Roger <sighs> that. Shit, won't open. Maybe it just needs a skilled hand. So, there, another reason to play this on easy. You're not having to do any sort of editing. Save yourself some effort. I'll let the crappy game mechanics speak for themselves. No, we did just play the cartel on medium and that kind of kicked our asses at first. I would say the cartel is a better game than this one. Oh wow. That's that's kind of harsh. Now if I I could if I could beat the cartel without getting frustrated. Really? If this game was uh, if the Greenman Gaming copy was redeemable on Steam, I'd probably get it because I'm an idiot. But yeah. I mean, I went through the effort of getting the platinum trophy for the cartel just so I could say I got my money's worth. Oh, there's... Oh, right. Cartel. And, uh, unsurprisingly, the hardest trophy to get was complete a whole mission with three people in co-op. Because of the, uh, disconnecting? Yeah, it's got some really weird issues where you can't connect to people half the time. There's maybe two levels of that game that don't suck, and they're all near the end. I won't force you to sit through the whole game for that. Uh... Well, after after the bit we play today, I'll probably never play it again. I forget, did I gift that to you? No, I think I bought it. I can't remember Of your why. own free will. Yeah. I, I do that. Because of Steam. I have way too many games on Steam. Also, this is really boring. I'm sorry. Yeah, that... I, mean, I don't think there's any way I could have made this interesting if I, if I turned up the difficulty any higher. It would have been a different kind of boring. Oh! oh, oh. <sighs> At one point in the game, you have to fight neo-Nazi drug barons. <laughs> the, the guy looks like fucking Hitler, and there, he has like female Nazi bodyguards. I'm not making this up. You played these games just for those moments? Well, I didn't know at first that this game had that moment. <laughs> That's almost... I'd almost want to see that, but no. Don't think I actually do. I'm surprised you don't have a joke about this being a sewer level. I, I'm tired. Of bad games? Yeah, also in general, it's... 4.15 a.m. Watching you try to roll up a steep incline hill step. It's like the uh, moment in Uncharted 3 where... Uh, what's his face? The old guy. Sully? Yeah, he goes, well, well, well. Because it's a well. Uh-huh. Get it? Jokes. Yes. About bad games. Well, maybe not Uncharted 3 yet. Play that. Well, it's not bad, I just think 2 is better. All clear. Victor, pack up. You're flying to Bogota in one hour. That's like. It is the largest city in Colombia and one of the biggest in Latin America. I think that might be the biggest camera in Latin America. There's a deal which will allow us to get a leading position in whole Colombia. We have met here to discuss the operation. Before we start, allow me to demonstrate our readiness. In any case, 
We are and will always be one step ahead, the police. Yeah, of course you Therefore, are. Therefore, I can tell you that we are being watched. In what? But there's no need to concern about it. Missile! Missile! <laughs> Go and check it. Now, where was I? Uh, you're gonna have so much fun editing this video and trying to make it good. Because I don't think you can. Dollar I can just throw it up as is. Just put up a disclaimer. Hey, this video is boring as shit. Don't watch it. And people will still watch it. They'll probably watch it for us. Our entertaining personalities. Yeah. Yeah, that's some good comedy. I'll probably edit this out, the part where I get lost. Ha, you did get lost. Ha. Is it me or is the uh, game audio really low? I already turned it down low beforehand. Because the gunshots are really loud compared to everything else. Well, that's just good. That's just great. Oh, I'll fix it then. Editing. Bazooka, Salgado, and Broca are dead and burnt to pieces. Are you kidding? We lost five men finding out where those bastards are going to be today. And you fuck it up. Stay where you are. They'll be there any minute. I need to shoot some scum. Oh, shit. Don't you even think about it. It looks like you're gonna die. Hmm, what a tough guy. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he is not. How about you just, I just talk like this for the rest of the video? Well, it can't make this thing any worse. Don't be so sure. I'm not actually gonna, going to do that. Because... It's not actually funny. See, the thing about this is that it's not even hilarious bad. Like, true crime had potential to be and was at times. Well, this is just well, that was kind of funny at moments because Marcus is such an idiot. This is just boring bad. I mean, I'm just showing it off now to go with the whole thread theme, which I guess now is bad games starring police officers. Well, there is still that third game you have, you own, or fourth, depending on what you do with those two. I thought there was going to be a grenade that dropped in that elevator because of what they said. Would not surprise me. This shotgun is really weird in this game. There's, it's just like, when you fire it, there's just a wall of pellets. There's no sense of spread at all. I mean, look at that. Then there's some spread. No, what it feels like is that the moment that you fire the gun, it's just like a giant wall of pellet that moves forward. There's no sense of it like spreading out. It does look like when it, uh, if some of the pellets hit an obstacle, they all hit, even the ones higher up. It kind of looks like you're getting puffs of smoke from the air. So, of course, since I'm playing on the lowest setting, I'm just gonna run up to his face and shoot him. Seems like a good strategy. It uh, kind of worked in the uh, cartel by mistake. Next time we don't screw around. You just shot the kingpin. Who else is more important? <laughs>
Said I beg your pardon For the state in their sight If you walk with Jesus He'll save your soul You gotta keep the devil Down in the hole He's got the fire and the fury At his command well, you don't have to worry If you hold on to Jesus' hand We'll all be saved from Satan When the thunder rolls You gotta keep the devil No loss. However, now he needs to cope with real Aryans who are going to show him where all lesser humans belong. I've never cared much for Nazis. 